Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Umineko Alliance of the Golden Witch. Last time, Anne has succeeded in summoning five of the seven stakes of purgatory. Let's see what happens this time, shall we? Oh, this bit. A lot of the part of, uh, and just time at San, uh, at St. Saint, uh, Saint Lucia really, really annoys me, and is one of the reasons I never really liked the first half of this, uh, this episode. Look, for those of you who are like me and who aren't enjoying this, please trust me. It gets so much better later on. Except she's thinking that, as her future self, that is in the past, I... I don't get how Anja interacts with time, it's kind of a mind screw. It, she basically simultaneously exists in three different worlds at once. And that's just for this part. It'll, her situation will get even more complicated later on. So this is school, Anja.
by the way, as a side note, there's sort of what's become kind of like a running joke for me, where I just repeatedly figure out how to work the Umineko program long after it would have been the functions that I learned would have been useful. For example, I learned the skip function and the full screen function only after I had already finished the story. And I only found out about the auto read function halfway through uh, doing this let's play, in fact. For those of you who want to know, oh, and the mute function, too. Control skips dialogue. M mutes it. So. Like that. Uh, F goes to full screen, which I don't, I won't do right now because, well, that'll mess up my recording. Uh. And, um. Oh yeah, A turns on auto rate, which I'll turn on for a moment here so you can see what, how it works. I am not doing this. This is going completely on its own. Bells above. Yeah, apparently whenever they see Sakutaro, the Seven Sisters almost immediately glomp him. Honestly, I sympathize. Belphegor knows what's up. And remember, Sakutaro is completely immune to offensive abilities. As much as I dislike Anja's storyline, I really do love any moment that involves uh, the seven stakes, just because they are so adorable when they're happy. <laughs> Look at them! Yet another word, alliance. Another repetition of alliance. Are you starting to see how it's basically a theme of this whole thing? Much more than a legend turn or bank whatever it was.
I just realized that this quote could be taken completely out of context. <laughs> Resisting urge to make that's what she said joke. Okay, now you're not even trying to avoid it. Of course, it's not like the game has been really that shy in having a, well, gay couple so far. <coughs> Lambda Burke Bairncastle. Okay, that was kind of creepy. opposed to young sister bullying. Wait, again? So I was just talking about a mysterious previous uh, summoning. Or, once again, the stakes exist outside of time. And they can remember stuff that hasn't happened yet. Or maybe this all works on the Mason system from Phoenix Wright. Where you can just casually jump between things. <laughs> Poor Satan. Guess who it was? Yep. You know, I still have no idea what the word austere means. This is only one of only two times I've ever seen it used. The other time was the title of one of the series of unfortunate events, you know, the Austere Academy, I think it was book five. Um, but I still have no clue what it means. Can someone tell me in the comments? That would be awesome, thanks. So I guess if she's using, if she was using this information late, earlier or later in the story, it can't be the Mason system. God, people who haven't played Apollo Justice will have no goddamn clue what I'm talking about.
I like how during the games we we we're freaked out by the stakes because they're so ruthless, and then here the stakes are being all adorable and and cute, even when they're talking about killing people. hair decks that she's got? That is adorable. game.
And yet, there's Anda's title, The Witch of Resurrection. Although it doesn't really come into play until the very end. This image. I remember this image. For a different reason, of course, actually. Um, it first appears here, but this image is extremely important in the sixth game. You know, Dawn of the Golden Witch. Oh, hi, Mammon! Alright, I am unfortunately out of time, so I'll see you guys next time. See you!